To motivate our method, we first show a chocolate bunny being melted by molten chocolate. Here we show the simulation again, but we visualize the MPM particles, showing the full richness of the simulation. Visualizing the temperature of the material point particles shows how the cold blue chocolate particles are heated by the red molten chocolate particles. The simulation ends with a more homogenized temperature. Now that we have seen our method in action, let us understand the basic idea behind our method. First consider flip and MPM methods. Time steps in each technique start with particles and end with particles. Even though FLIP considers fluid mechanics and MPM considers solid mechanics, they both use a grid as a scratch pad to speed computation during the time step. FLIP uses a grid-based projection solve, whereas MPM uses a grid-based implicit stress computation. The main idea behind our method is to use a splitting so that we can do both a projection and a stress computation in the same solver. The result is a solver that can handle a wider range of material properties. In addition to unifying MPM and FLIP, we also integrate a heat solve to drive the change in material properties. Now let us consider some more examples. As a result of our method, we can handle a wide range of materials as said before. For example, we simulate unique mu and lambda for each letter of the word SIGGRAPH. But more interestingly, we can simulate them together. Let us return to bunny defacement for a moment. Here we use a raclette lamp to melt a bunny, since we were out of cheese. We accomplish this by modeling air as a heat source. All this chocolate has made us desire a more savory taste, so let us try melting some butter. Here we have sped up the simulation about 20 times. Besides melting, we can also handle freezing. So let's return to dessert. In this case, we have dipped an apple in molten sugar. When we remove it, the liquid hardens and pinches off, producing a perfect candied apple. We have two more apples, too. Lastly, we consider another example of freezing, molten lava solidifying after flowing. 